How's it going everyone? My name is Graham, and today we're not playing a game. We're checking out a new operating system, Kingsway, from Andrew Morish and Adult Swim. It's an operating system built for maintaining your adventurers, making sure they can level up, collect loot, explore maps, kill enemies. Not, not a game, of course, it's just like a, a management system. So we'll add ourselves a new, new character. Do a couple of quick randomizations and oh there we go that is such a wonderful oompa loompa haircut and glorious mario mustache so we have we have oompa johnson who will be who will be our adventurer is that too many characters yep you can't can't have that so he's oompa john and well he's a beastkin just look at him that's of course like when you when you look at adventure warrior mage rogue he's obviously a beastkin you can just see it in his eyes i'm not gonna do a leaderboard run i'll just do a regular thing a uh, starting gift, uh, extra gold, please. I, I'm, I'm a greedy man, and I'm trying to rack up as much gold as I can. Double-click the world navigator to travel through the land of Kingsway. So instead of, like, Clippy the paper clip or whatever the fuck that guy is called, we got Orby the mystical orb. I just named him. I don't know if that was actually his name. <laughs> That's a really funny way to have, like, a tutorial in this game, though. Let us, uh, I don't need to inspect, we'll just go straight to it. <laughs> if you have to, like, load all your progress between things. There's a battle, dummy! Does that, is it calling me a dummy, or am I about to battle a dummy? I don't know, I wasn't sure how to give the right inflection for that. Well, my only option is to attack. Ah, it's a dummy. Thank goodness it wasn't calling me a dummy. So I'll just try and lay a couple attacks. Oh, if I don't do anything in between these, then it's just, like, a... a that's, I think, the dummy trying to process his own attack. So I just got, I got to load up my own attacks here. And luckily, he just continues to sit there and do nothing. Perfect. So there's the two different bars there. You got to pay attention to his and your own. Ah, experience and loot. Nothing found, unfortunately. Well, I shall continue onwards then. Oh, fucking hey, uh, we get to go check out a chest. At some point, I'll see how the inspection works thing, but for now, for now, I just will advance onwards and go and take a look at the chest. Oh, nice, I got a log up here to keep track of things. Oh, holy shit, you actually have, like, full control over all of these windows. You can move everything around and, like, stretch them out to see what fits you the most. It's not 8.15, by the way, right now. There's, I, I wasn't even awake at that time this morning, let alone recording a game. A supplies chest. Now we now we inspect it. There's a sign next to the chest that reads one free potion per adventurer. Well, is it a chest full of potions and it's just like an honor system? Because if that's the case, I want to take more, please. I can move things between bags, but bags have a limit. So what do I have? I Oh, I have to drag it out of the chest into my bag. There we go. Now I actually have it. I have a key and the king's summons. Oh, shit. Look at this. The old stories of the shifting land, when one day the sun won't rise, but instead an eternal being will travel over the land, closing the sky with its unthinkable size. The footprints distort the ground. Those few who survive will no longer recognize the land, and history will begin anew. So I think that's kind of an interesting way of explaining away the fact that this is like a rogue, a roguelike, that if I, I die or lose... Then everything uh, gets randomly regenerated, and so I think that's what they're describing there. Is uh, it's kind of how like Spelunky, you know, when you die, it's like ooh, the walls are shifting and the cave rearranges itself. In this case, you got some big thing that blocks out the sky and changes the land. Every era, the people of the land seek a savior to end this cycle of destruction brought on by the Eternal One, which some call the Sky Eater. Ancient prophecy predicts an outsider will come to the king's land only days before the reckoning and gain the power to destroy the Sky Eater. Travel to the king's castle to the east to prove yourself the worthy savior of the land. And why is the clothes thing like a, a, a skull? It makes it made me think that I was about to like destroy it, like delete it or something. I don't see any recycling bin. I, there's no way for me to nowhere for me to dump things. What if I what if I just like chuck the king's summons out onto the desktop? You can. You could manage shit however the hell you want. Oh, this this uh folder actually has a, a limit to how much it can hold. There's actually weight that it's keeping track of. Quests? Other than the king's summons, I suppose. There's nothing really there. Oompa John. Okay, he's got some inventory stuff that I can that I can mess around with here. Nothing no uh, skill points to assign until I level up here. Whoa, 
all sorts of skills. Nothing that I can learn just yet, but things to look forward to. I uh, continue onwards, I guess. I, I can only go along this one set path here, so upwards I go. I'll inspect first, just to see. Location, boat, distance 128. Name, training, R. Training room. <laughs> I assume that's what it was, but I, I wanted to see if it said anywhere else. Uh, probably pretty rare that I'll inspect, like, chests and stuff that are out in front of me, but if it looks like I'm heading towards something that might be a, a random battle, then I suppose I could do it then. Return to service? I guess I have to. This is the King's Land. The King's Castle is to the east. Be careful traveling to the east too quickly. There are powerful monsters closer to the King's Castle. So take your time and get some experience along the way. Hey, I got my first quest. Let me... I, I got all sorts. I got, like, notifications flashing all over the screen here. It's like woof from the office. The subject, orientation. Welcome to Kingsway. We here at Adventure Corp are here to guide you on your pilgrimage to the King's Castle. The first thing you want to do is get acquainted with the guild. The guild is an organization that employs outsiders like yourself to do various tasks around the land. Their rewards will be essential to your journey. Bring them the letter that brought you here and they'll take it from there. You can find guild outposts at any fort and in some small villages. I already have the king's summons. Reward a supplies bag. So I, that'll be somewhere else I can store my stuff because I have like the limited weight and all that. Hey, I got some... Oh, experience will be rewarded. I don't get that experience right now. Well, let's just go kind of poke around in a few a few random different areas. We'll go we'll go to the outpost first. See how see how things are run over that way. Well, I went to the outpost and literally nothing happened. And it okay, it marks it off as showing that I have been there. So that's kind of one thing I was curious about. Uh so not everything is going to have some sort of random encounter of of sorts. Oh, okay, this is uh not the King's Castle. I thought it would be really weird if it was that close. You can see everything that you'll find in the in the fort, the outpost, so I might as well go there because chances are things will happen. Oh, I encountered a battle along the way. Oh shit. Why is this thing like floating around like that? There we go. I gotta get a few quick attacks on it. I'm not sure why it's like floating across the screen like that. I guess it's kind of like a, like an ad or like a pop-up or something rather than an actual folder or something you would manage on an operating system is that kind of the idea they're going with there is that this is like an intrusive like not proper application of the the kingsway operating system oh information i i got a best bestiary when the church decided it needed its own army it raised the dead from the ground to protect its walls goddamn church why were you doing all this Ooh, look at all that shit uh glossary record system all sorts of stuff I can keep track of. <laughs> Version 1.0.3. Andrew Moorish. Adult Swim Games. I suppose I should admit at this point now that it says Adult Swim Games and game art and design, I can admit that this is in fact a game. In case I had fooled anyone that it was truly just an operating system for managing fine young adventurers like Oompa John. Well, we'll go the rest of the way out to the fort. Uh, looks like we got another battle. That was uh, easy enough. It looks like... Oh, he can... Oh, I only did one damage that time. He can get... Uh, I was hoping I could get two attacks off in the time it took him to do one. Like, that I could beat him to it, but he still managed to attack once. Damn him. The, the last one must have attacked me once, too, when I look at it. Hey, pretty healthy amount of experience, though. Farm hat. Shit, yeah, I want a farm hat. You're putting that on right now, Oompa John. Oh, but then I gotta cover up your lovely hair. Uh, I'll just hope it... I just hope that it sits... Like your hairdo has been constructed and molded finely enough by enough layers of gel and hairspray that it doesn't really fit over top of it. It just kind of like rests on tap, on, on top there, <laughs> on tap, so that no one, no one can, it, it doesn't obscure your hair at all. Everyone needs to be able to see the full glory of what you got going on up there. And onwards, maybe we'll actually make it this time. There we go. I got a few options. I don't think I have a ton of gold. Ooh, I wish I could add gold to my status there. Do I have... Where does it keep track of my gold? Music! Well, yeah, let's turn on some tunes. I found it a little bit weird that it wasn't just automatically playing tunes. We'll just dock that for later. What about the computer thing here? Information settings, uh... Oh, this is just like the menu if you hit es escape in a normal game, you know? I have no idea where my gold is kept track of. I don't have that uh, conveniently anywhere on the screen as far as I can tell. Let us look at the guild. 
right? That was, uh, we needed to come bring them the king's summons, the orientation, Su submit. Ah, yes. You have leveled up, health increased by one, and, I, and I'm healed, so that's good. Defense increased by one, three stat points, plus one skill point, choose new skill. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, double click his character, choose skills and all that. What do I want? There's only a handful of things to learn. I'll read through them and, and decide what sounds best. Oh, hey, Leech. Inflict two physical damage and, and you can heal things. Uh, evil Eye. Permanently weaken targets. Grim Aura. Temporary Aura. They would they could poison you when they attack when the aura is active. Iron Stomach. Instead of discarding things, you can eat them to regain health. I really like the sounds of that one. I also really like the sounds of... Leech? I don't know, they all sound like pretty good actually, they're all pretty good options. Uh, increased critical hit chance and vigilance at the start of every battle, your first attack is 40% faster. Uh, with an upgrade, your first two attacks are 40% faster. I really like the sound of vigilance. Just start snapping off quick attacks and just hammer enemies, that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Crest, quest reward, I got my supplies bag. So I think I, think I could put this down in, into my... Uh, on my screen here. Hey, there's a, there's a decent amount of stuff that all comes here. The Bright Ring of Stamina. That's sweet. One intellect, one travel distance. Uh, cool. I wasn't expecting this supply bag to just have something of, of use like that. I chuck that on there. And how about, how about a plus two strength? Oh man, it even has like a, a good and evil weighing thing like you would in, uh, like, D&D style RPGs, lots of RPGs. Well, that's all the intellect I'll probably ever, ever need. And I have the increased attack speed. Let's go with better damage. Uh, how many stat points do I have to assign here? Put one in agility there. Oh, there it is. I didn't see that somehow. And one more into strength. Can I just move everything into the my bag at once? Sweet. Okay, managing this stuff is nice and simple. It's very intuitive. Storage at the guild? No, nah, I don't. I don't need to store anything there. Maybe the inn? No, I don't need to stay there. I was hoping maybe there would just be someone to talk to. Like it turns the purple to keep track of where you've been. This game's fucking great. The magic shop? Oh, I probably. I don't. I don't think I need any of that right now. Armor. No, I'd rather go finding things. I like finding things in games like this. Let's worry about travel. No available travel locations. That's probably all we need to do at Fort Ulentifient. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that was a randomly generated name. Uh, what gave it away? The fact that it was absolutely impossible to say. Wow, this stupid, stupid fucking thing flying around here. I, so I guess they're not always predictably going to go like corner to corner. Some of them... That was kind of funny, it was like a circular shaped enemy, so he was kind of swinging around in circles. Kind of makes sense. I just realized for my own sake I'm going to need somewhere to stick a face cam. Uh, if I leave myself a nice little open corner, then there we go, then I don't need to worry about it. I can manage the screen accordingly to, to give myself the space for that. Nothing found, I shall leave and continue. Oh, look at that. He just hopped on a little boat. Just a quick, there was a quick little joyride in the boat over there. There's another wanderer in the distance. They look scared. Well, uh, if they're scared, they're more likely to, like, maybe, I don't know, do something drastic. But I'm going to approach. I'll be a friendly Oompa, and I'll see what is troubling them. The wanderer appears to be injured and asks you for help. Give potion. I'm feeling generous right now. I'm I'm excited about this game. This game has got me fired up. I think it's really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So it's got me in a good mood. I'm going to be generous. The Wanderer gains strength and thanks you. Talk to them. They Come on, they got to fucking give me something. The Wanderer tells you about a great treasure and marks its location on the map. Fuck yeah. Well, I, I can give away a stupid potion for that. I still have one potion. I was pretty sure I had two, so I felt more comfortable with doing that. Travel, travel to the great treasure. He better not be lying. I wonder if this will cost me a key, actually. You come across a treasure chest, approach it. You approach the chest, open it. You open the treasure chest, a cleaver, an antidote, and an orb. Which looks a little bit like a dragon ball. Hopefully, hopefully one of the dragon balls. So at some point I can raise Shinju, whatever the dragon's called. Don't remember what he's called off the top of my head. Uh, an offhand thing requires intellect 10, requires level 4, plus 2 damage. 
Uh, I'm something I can hang on to at the very least. Hopefully I can use a cleaver. It requires level 4, quite a ways from being able to use this stuff. An antidote, I'm sure, it cures, cures poison. That's what I would have assumed. Uh, hopefully I have enough, like, weight in here. Oh, yeah. The, I thought the cleaver might be heavy. Weight too. Things don't weigh too, too much. I don't have to worry about it just yet. Uh, well, I have some nice, like slightly later game items so as soon as i'm level four i can i can start making use of some of that stuff i gotta backtrack a little bit i kind of skipped over this one thing when i was zipping around to the the fort in those different areas new message guild services are you strong enough uh let me come let me do i read that now let's read that now sure let's see let's see what the guild has to say guild members there have been reports of large groups of skeletons in your area members who can help clear these unwanted undead will be rewarded Make sure you come prepared, as it will be a dangerous task. Location has been added to the World Navigator. Requirement, kill skeletons at location. Ooh, the special guild helm. Ah, oh, then I really... It, it, hopefully it, it works more like a fez. It looks like it looks like it has like a nose piece and stuff, but I hope it works like a little tiny fez and just comes down like that, and then he doesn't have to worry about messing up his hair. That's a shitload of experience, though. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere on this, like, recommended level or anything, so I'm a little bit worried that, like, they might kick my ass at level 2, so I'm not going to go running straight to that, because that seems like a bad idea. You come across a group of thieves, they look like they're up to no good. Um, approach? The thieves surround you, there are three of them. Ah, talk. The thieves are carrying stolen goods and offer you a bribe to not tell anyone what you've seen. Yeah, I really don't want to fight them. I'm assuming this is a bribe of gold. Uh, I want to see how this uh, tilts tilts my like affinity here. I'm I'm a little bit. It looks like I'm a little bit tilted evil, and I'm not quite sure what I did to earn that. But take bribe. They give you 11 gold and leave. Oh, there's my gold. This is where it keeps track of gold. Uh, it did I was I was more in the yellow before then? I think I think it definitely tilted me evil just the slightest bit just it's a tiny bit evil we'll, we'll go we'll go wander off to the next little thing Ooh, my first encounter with a skeleton i can get a sense of how uh capable i am of taking on skeletons i mean that was a little bit tough not not the hardest thing a skull not sure what i could do with that someone may want this all right just like something to hang on to future quest maybe ruined armor uh it looks like i'm just wearing like a ratty a ratty shirt or something like that so into the bag you go so I can close out of some of these uh, different things leave and continue oh shit I wasn't ready for another battle right now this guy's got a lot of health hopefully this goes okay oh critical hit that went about as well as I could have hoped for it to go leave and continue I, I forgot the time just before that after the skeleton that quitting that was gonna mean I would continue adventuring on there's no way to like pause Moving from point A to B, so I just kind of had to barrel on with that. Dirty shirt, uh, one one defense. This guy's got three. Uh, let's give that a quick swap then. That'll be nice to have uh, some improved defense. Probably just sell that shirt at some point. Go to this nice little close one through the through the bushes here. There's a hooded figure crossing your path. They look curious. Well, I'm all about approaching people today. I'm. I'm, I'm willing to talk to anyone. The hooded figure is holding some treasure and doesn't notice you. Talk to them. The hooded figure says he will sell you the mysterious item. Yeah, I just took a bribe. I can, <laughs> I can spend that money forward. I'm not too worried about. I'm not going to try and steal it. I'm, what am I? I'm like a beastkin. I'm not a thief or a rogue or anything. I'll just buy it. The hooded figure takes your gold and gives you the treasure. Cruel red boots of stamina. Minus 13 damage to beasts, uh, but I'm a beast skin. But plus 2 to travel distance and plus 4 to travel distance, so plus 6 to travel distance. Uh, I'm guessing the cruel means the reduced damage to be beasts and then red and stamina add plus 2 and plus 4, probably. Uh, I don't really know what the travel distance will do. I'll move from A to B more quickly, something like that if I had to guess. Where's my Oompa John thing? You don't even you don't even have any boots right now, so stick those right on. I I have no real indication of like what good that can do. The hooded figure takes your gold and gives you the treasure. Talk advice. 
The hooded figure says, if you're overburdened, don't forget you can put items in the storage box at guild outposts. Uh, I ignored that the first time around. I know it exists. That probably will come in handy fairly quickly. Like, what am I at right now? Uh, like a third, a third of my total weight, a little bit more. You can always retrieve stored items uh, from any storage box. That is good to know, actually. I was kind of curious if that's how it would work. I figured that was probably going to be the case. Ooh, that cave. Oh, look at all this shit that it looks like I can start making my way towards. Uh, what is this? Let's inspect. The Far Ternax Manor. Uh, mountains has inns, an inn in general store. I don't think I want to go straight for the skeletons. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the inn. I'm going to backtrack. And then I am going to go check out that little skeleton mob. I'm feeling a little bit more confident in my ability to take that on at the moment. Uh, what am I using? It looks like a broken sword. It's a, it's a broken sword. Damage 0 to 1. So that thing sucks. Uh, I probably shouldn't be holding out so, so much for like a just coming across an item let me just uh buy the dagger damage one to one i mean it's guaranteed a one that's a lot better than what i'm working with right now so let's just go ahead add that to a cart i still have both my keys i thought i would use have used them on the treasure chest that i came across but open simple locks i guess there wasn't a lock uh i i guess i can't sell stuff to the stores i don't see drop items here to sell them um yeah, can I just sell you... Let's sell you the dirty shirt. Sells for zero gold. Whatever, get out of here then. And sells for one gold. I'm just going to hang on to it in case it comes up as a quest item or something. View my cart. Check out. Complete transaction. Yes, please. And in you go. And here you go. Have a free... Have a free broken... Have a free broken sword. I don't need it. Uh, neither do you, but I need it even less than you do, I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't want to be stuck with it. It's your problem now. And we use that zero gold plus zero gold from our sales to stay at the end. This costs the same as at the last end. I was wondering if maybe it would be like a little bit random. Oh, look, you can see the time progressing in the bottom right there. I just slept for, for two hours. New guild message. Want the best deals on potions? Due to the recent influx of outsiders, undead, and demons in the area, health potions are in high demand. This trend is putting a lot of stress on local apothecaries. But, with your help, we can both prosper. If you bring back as many beast eyes as you can to the nearest guild outpost, we'll make sure you get the best deal on health potions in the future. Is that going to be like a permanent reduction in their price? Because that could be super sweet. Uh, we look forward to it. Four beast eyes and a potion coupon? Is that going to be like a permanent thing? I don't know. 300 experience at this point is still a lot, so it's another, another good quest to take on in my eyes. Are these... Like, accepted? Have I accepted these quests? I guess I kind of automatically have. I, there's no way to turn them down. They just kind of sit there. I can sort them into a junk mail pile if I decide that I don't actually want them. Uh, let's take this new way to go to the, the new area. Oh, shit. Cultist appears. No, no, no. I gotta run. I gotta run from this guy. That was a bad, that was a bad idea to try and attack him. I didn't realize how much health he had. No, I need to escape from this guy as well. That was maybe not the best place to head to. Uh, how many how many quests or how many skeletons are going to be here? Are you strong enough? I'm really starting to question that. If it's just the simple skeletons that I already fought one of, then I'm not too, too worried about it. I'm hoping that's kind of what's going on. You have arrived at the location for the quest. Are you strong enough? You see five skeletons just ahead of you. They haven't noticed you. Uh, if I attack, do I get like a surprise bonus? Maybe. Oh wait, these guys are a little tougher than what I had seen previously. I have a slightly better weapon than I had previously. I think I can do it. I think I can take on five of these guys. It might be a little bit down to the wire. I can't really like queue up attacks. Oh shit, I, I fucking didn't realize that one of them had... I, I, I had misclicked there for a second. Oh, critical hit. Good, good, good. I needed that to make up for the way that I screwed up. I leveled up and healed in the middle of the battle. It's hard to see because there's all sorts of shit, like, pop-ups all in the way there, but I totally got one, uh, like, a quick heal there, so I'll be able to cruise through this no problem. I think this is the last guy. I'm not going to loot them all independently, right? I, I don't think there's a quick way. Yeah, it's quick enough to just do it that way. I don't think there's a quicker way than that. To move things over into my into my bag there. Fool's ruined ruined armor of strength, so minus intellect plus strength. I might have to 
give that some consideration whether or not that's something I want to hang on to. Uh, a bone, a bone club, damage zero to two. I think I want to stick with a weapon that's one to one, so I can have some consistency. I don't like the zero. I don't like the fact that like a zero damage. It's not something I really, I really want. Uh, you've leveled up. Uh, give me a moment I can deal with that after I deal with all like this looting, nothing found, and one last skeleton potion. So that was pretty successful, I'd say. Leave and continue. Oompa, Oompa John here. I'm not gonna give him, I'm not gonna use the fool's thing of strength, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna chip away at his intellect like that. Increases maximum magic points. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna take away from that. Increase attack speed. A little bit more vitality and a little bit more attack speed yet again. And vigilance, I want I like I really like the idea of being able to attack twice really quickly. And I just realized why I couldn't add this to my battle skills is because it's passive. So I don't have to worry about it. I just automatically have it. So I can fire off two really quick attacks. I think that'll be really useful. I'm excited about that. You see the skeletons were guarding the entrance to a small tomb. It looks to be the source of skeleton troubles in the area. Enter the tomb. You enter the tomb. You can hear a rattling of bones nearby. Some sort of skeleton boss, perhaps? Ooh, shit. Okay, well, I just crept up into some kind of dungeon. So I am going to go ahead and say next time. I, I was thinking the next episode would be me st starting with me like claiming my reward and 400 experience for taking care of this quest, but I think I think instead it's going to be venturing down to these tombs, seeing what there is to discover down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pretty excited about this game. Seems super fun. Uh, I feel awesome. I, I realize it's weird because you're not actively running around controlling every little thing. But I feel like uh, there's a really healthy sense of progress progression and discovery. And this, this game is just really satisfying something in my mind. More so than a game like Faster Than Light does. I, that game is fun, but this is like a similar kind of idea where you're not right in there shooting things up. You're managing it from kind of above. And this is really doing it for me. I'm, I'm super into this right now. So I'm super excited to play more of it. Hope you guys are excited about it. I'll see you again soon.